Well, hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading, love, money, career, for the period beginning the 3rd of May. Because it is a general reading, it may not resonate with all of you. Look at your forecast for your moon sign or your rising sign. Don't know what that is? There's a link in the description so you can calculate yours. If it does resonate with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy, or if you want to claim the reading, throw a comment below. Thank you again for clicking that little subscribe button. Your likes and comments and subscriptions helps YouTube find the channel. Really appreciate that. Yep. Okay. Thanks, Spirit. There we go. Okie dokie. If this is your first time, this is a spirit-driven energy reading. I'm channeling messages. Okay. So there may be some homework from the gaggle, the entourage, the army of spirits in my space. I'm also getting some of your spirit guides in, some of your past loved ones. If they come across in the reading, I will point them out. And they're pushy. They laugh, they sing, they, sh they uh, show me things, they turn my TV on. They just want to get the message across. All right. So for the period beginning the 3rd of May, for our Scorpios, <clears throat> let's see what we have. Let's pull this one. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Starting out with the seven of rods, we have the hermit. We have the nine of rods. Knight of Cups, Page of Swords, Woo, Wheel of Fortune, lovely Scorpio. Okay, I'm sure I'll pull some more. Let me just grab a little sip of my coffee here. Mmm, so good. All right, so we're starting out here with this nine. The Nine of Rods. All right. Doesn't look like a happy guy, does he? Okay. So we have some obstacles early in the period that are blocking the situation. Um, all right. Somebody's guide is in here telling me that uh, you're up for a position and there's some kind of delay, some kind of um, some delay in your path, some obstacle in your path, uh, or you could be in a sort of an extended negotiation, the interview process, which is pretty long. Uh, I'm also, okay, someone else's guide is saying that you're waiting, somebody's waiting on some kind of negotiation going on with the purchase of a new home. All right. Um, and there's something quirky going on there. Uh, all right, someone else's guide is saying you're waiting on a refinance and there's some kind of some kind of blip in the way uh, that is keeping that refinance not yet complete. Again, somebody with another person with the house, with the closing, is being delayed. Um, okay. Uh, hmm. Somebody wants to move their relationship to a new level, and the obstacle is somebody in the immediate family. That is trying to stick their nose in on your relationship. Uh, most likely because they don't think this... Per okay. Yeah. All right. They don't like your partner. Uh, all right. Uh, there's another spirit coming in saying that um, there's an... um. Okay. That you want to start a new business. You want to start a new gig. Some kind of branching out on your own. And you're the obstacle to that and the obstacle being fear. Okay, thanks Spirit. So we have a little homework here from Spirit. We have the Hermit and then we also have the Nine of Rods. And the Nine of Rods coming out, Spirit is trying to get you to realize your strength, Scorpio, please. You're like, you and Leo are like the strongest signs in the Zodiac when it comes to, um, Somebody's using, one of the spirits is using the word moxie. 
Uh, I think that means um, uh, another one's using chutzpah. Okay. Uh, it means um, drive. All right. You've got the drive. You won't let anybody. Typically, you don't care what people think, you know, and you're very good at getting things done. So spirit is saying, number one, don't worry so much about what other buddy thinks um, and try to get out of that earth a emotion. The earth a emotion being that anxiety that's caused by the situation, you know, take some time to be by yourself and consider all the options. Consider carefully when making decisions about um, your future. All right. And, but you want to invest in your future. Um, so just take some time to be by yourself. Take different approaches uh, to making this decision, uh, allowing this obstacle to get you down. Don't do that. You know, it's a, it's a um, spirit is saying it's a temporary delay. Um, and for those that, that where well, you're having problems with the family, um, spirit is saying, choose your words wisely, but you know, don't allow others to, uh, live their life through you. Okay. If you can do that, then we've got some beautiful, you know, I mean, and this is about taking action. If you're looking for the new position and you haven't gotten the even the interview yet, maybe it's time to to relook at the resume, uh, uh, update it online, and do some of that homework. Uh, there's a trick that I learned a long time ago uh, about update your profile online every day. It makes the system look like uh, you just applied. You'll get a lot more responses. Uh, for those of you who are looking to get to the next level in a relationship, take the action and tell that person how you really feel. Mm -hmm. All right. You've also got the Page of Swords here, you know, and the Page of Swords, <clears throat> you know, this is about help. So if you are starting that new gig, that new enterprise, you'll get the support you need. Spirit will put those people in your path in order for you to succeed. You know, uh, it, it's a really, really good time for um, showing the world what you're made of, showing the world, letting you, you're letting you shine, you know. Um, and you've got the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is about improvements in, in, in news and money, improvements in finances. Um, just prioritize what you're what you're. Um, what you're doing, take charge of the situation, you know, in relationships, this is about, um, revisiting an old love. It doesn't, you know, if your ex is crummy, you probably have some, what I call Louis Vuitton, some baggage, pretty, but baggage that you want to deal with. So you want to bring back the relationship in your mind's eye so that you can resolve, forgive and live. All right. I also, this is for the people that are buying the house. This is about change in living um, situations, change where you live, uh, changes where you live that will actually be much better for you in the long run. So good, good for you. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh gosh, we have the Empress. Talk about money. All right, so we have the Empress and the Empress is about abundance. Okay, so in abundance, we're talking about money. We're talking about the abundant life. Uh, a life filled with earth be energy, peace, love, and joy, bliss, contentment, appreciation. All right. Um, yeah, I see some of you renovating, um, uh, reno recently in a new home and renovating the home, home projects, others moving into a new home. Um, I see harmony in relationships. Uh, lo yeah, some of the love relationships, but family relationships, immediate family, extended family, mom, Cousins, friends, family, that sort of thing. Uh, especially the relationship to yourself. You're, you're getting more comfortable in your skin and not really caring what everybody else thinks. It's what you think that really matters. And this is about money flowing. Again, it's about financial security, um, showing your resourcefulness, and something that will last in the long run is coming in. So it's good for you. What else we got? 
Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Nice. Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> oh, the Knight. Do we have another Knight? Yeah, we have two Knights. So we have this Knight of Cups, which is about taking action. Okay, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. When we have two Knights together, this is about um, friendships. So friendships are on the um, focus right now. Okay, and the Knight of Pentacles is about increases in financing. It's about um, upticks is the only word I could think about. Your finance improves. Uh, this is about the possibility of going into home. Maybe you're moving in with a partner. Uh, but I see somebody's finding a, a new place to live that includes their partner. So good for you. Really good reading. All right. And since I have Scorpio in my chart, I'm excited. All right. So we also have Moses here on the Ascended Master card. And Moses is saying, take charge of the situation. You may feel like you're powerless here because of these obstacles, but you do have the ability to take control. You know, at least take control of your emotional reaction to the situation. All right. Remember, when we get anxious and worried about things, then we're only prolonging them. When something doesn't go the way that I think it should go, you know, I just say to spirit, hey, guys, I'm sure something amazing will come of this more amazing than I could possibly imagine. For example, um. I was in this hotel, I, I, I was taking a, cl a class, and I had to go to Des Moines, all right, and so I flew out on a free miles, uh, but I was going to get in about, I don't know, 11.30 at night, and the hotel had said that they had a, um, uh, what's it called, um, with a f free pickup, all right, I didn't go to the fancy hotel where the, where the class was being led, because I didn't want to spend like three fifty a night, but I found this older hotel that was ninety nine dollars. So anyway, I get in, and I call the hotel, and I said, "Hey, I'm ready to be picked up." And and they said, "Oh no, we stopped that service two weeks ago." So I had to pay twenty bucks for a cab. So that's ninety nine plus twenty. Then I get there, and there's a this is like midnight now, and there's people in the in the, the lobby, because uh, there's no air conditioning. The air conditioning was working or shut off. But I check in anyway. I'm tired. I get upstairs. There's no internet. That's a that's that's a deal breaker for me. So anyway, I I say to the I look up to the sky. I never even unpacked, and I'm like, hey guys, I'm sure something amazing will come of this. More amazing than I could imagine. So I walk downstairs, I say to the front desk guy, there's nobody down there now, it's about 1 a.m. And I said, hey, I'm not angry with you, but I really can't stay here. And he goes, I understand. You know, and I had booked it through like one of those travel sites. So we called him up and I'm not going to be charged. And I said, do you have any suggestions? He goes, yeah, the Marriott down the block, which is where the class was. And I knew how much it was. I said, all right, get him on the phone. At this point, you know. Um, so I get on the phone to the guy and I explain the situation that I was taking a class there. Bah, 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 bah. I said, well, do you have a pity rate? And I laughed. <laughs> he goes, how about $99? Not only did they pick me up, the Marriott picked me up in downtown Des Moines. The guy gave me water, put me on the concierge level, which had free breakfast, free cocktails for the couple of three days I was there. I got the room for $99 and he gave me free Wi-Fi. I had it all for the same price. See, because I never got angry. I never overreacted. I threw it up to the universe. I said, hey guys, that's the kind of situations that happen when you do not stay in earth A energy of fear, anger, worry, resentment, whatever you want to spew out there that's negative, but when you stay in that beautiful deliciousness of Earth B, you know, and even when something doesn't go the way that you think it's going, just throw it up and say, hey guys, I'm sure something amazing will come of this. And I have like a thousand stories about that. So, 
you know, I will not tell you them all, not on this video, but just be aware that your emotion impacts your situations in reality. Okay, kids, that's all I've got. Thanks for clicking the little subscribe button. Again, this is not your typical tarot. And thank you spirits who are in this house now that I have to smudge so that I can um, go have my coffee. Have a great day and great week and take care.